Hello Guardians, welcome back to Sweet Lou, where I'm finally making a proper video about the latest uh, Curse of Osiris Expansion 1 trailer. And of course I have all the points down here, uh, just in front of me I'm going to be playing the trailer. I'm also going to be playing this for you as you're um, watching the video of course. And pretty much I have a lot of points here, and of course like... I'm going to go through them all and discuss to you what I think about it and of course about the next expansion. Where do we begin? Okay, so let's start off with Osiris's Shell. Now Osiris's Shell is like the start of great shells being made by Bungie and them stop being lazy with the current shells that we, or well, the shells we had in Destiny 1 at least. I know with the Dawning event that's meant to bring, or even Season 2 of Destiny 2, that's meant to bring really good exotic shells, but that Osiris one, if they could somehow have like a version of that that we can earn from like, I don't know, like maybe as an exotic, then that would be awesome. Because just look at it, it has two giant spikes at the sides and then it has like three spikes top and bottom, just like the Osiris symbol itself. So, another thing that could catch your eyes while watching it is like, um, the fact that in part of it, it looks like he's fighting within the Vault of Glass, maybe like originally this ties back into the lore, or at least I think so, because my lore knowledge is not up to date and it, I don't blame myself, let me be fair. But in the back you can see like a hunter using a beam that's solar and not like a, the normal cold heart one, where that's I believe void? Nah, it'd be arc. Because like, I don't probably have uh, cold art myself, so I do apologize if I got that wrong. Yeah, when it comes to it, it has to be a solar version of cold heart, but put into the Osiris type feel, you know? Because it's literally the exact same thing, just reskinned with orange. But yeah, that's why I think about that gun. Now let's move on to Osiris himself now, like. Because Osiris is not what I expected, let me be honest. But, like, it's he still looks awesome, like, none of the less. He does look like somebody that's not even a proper guardian, and more of somebody that's a legend. You know, like, the Iron Lords, they looked, of course, like guardians, but they were distinguishable because they were Iron Lords. And, of course, you have Osiris here, just with not even a mask. He just has, like, the half-mask yoke, you know, the bandana, just uh, over his mouth and whatnot. And, of course, we move on to... Like, the theory of the Vault of Glass, which, like, you know, we, we hope they don't bring the Vault of Glass back as a thing to use. <clears throat> because they could be just reusing the Vault of Glass, and, like, we don't want that. We want new location stuff, which, of course, we see. But, of course, in the trailer, you see, like, the lighthouse, how it was all bright and all, and then you... I think it's the version of it that's dark, or maybe it could be the reef, but... To me, at the moment, it just looks like that that place is the lighthouse, just dark, you know? And I don't think that's going to be, um, whatchamacallit, I don't think it's going to be the reef at all. Moving on to that, um, we have the big red eye. Just looking at it here, the only other thing I can think of having a big red eye is a harpy. Please don't let the raid boss be a giant harpy. No, actually, you know what? No, let the giant harpy be a part of the raid. That would be a fun thing to see. Like, I went back to Destiny 1 to play that one strike that uh, any Xbox player would know that they wouldn't be able to play. And it was actually alright, you know? It was weird having a harpy as a boss at the end, but, you know, it was intuitive, I guess. But, you know, it'd be cool if we saw, like, a brand new remodeled Vex type thing. Because, like... If you look at Callus himself, he is redone a bit, but like you know he's like probably a centurion just remodeled and reskinned and a lot. But if they could bring out like a brand new Vex type robot, then that'd be great. Everyone would love that. So as I can say now, the guns and armor look grand for the Osiris DLC. And the Vex weapons caught my interest, especially that one that Titan, I believe, was holding. As far as I've seen comments of already, 
Some people are saying that the Warlock is holding the Jade Rabbit and the other lad is holding Telesto. And actually, yeah, just looking at it now, it does look like Telesto, just with red. But I'd rather that be like a Vex, um... Not exactly a Vex Mythoclast, but like... You know that... Yeah, pr no, vi pretty much Vex Mythoclast point two with proper red um, light, you know? But then again, I never probably had Vex Mythoclast myself, because it was an auto rifle, I believe. But I just never got it to drop, so... Yeah. Now, the last thing I'm here to discuss about, well, one of the last things, is the, of course, release date. Which is, feels far away, not gonna lie, it is the end of October, but it still feels far, like, December 5th, please, Bungie, I want this sooner. We're kinda dying here, like, content is getting a bit droughty again, unless they bring out Season 2, literally when November is hit, you know, then we'll probably be grand for a bit, but I doubt they're gonna bring it this early. The season 2 of Destiny 2. And then, of course, we have the second expansion, which, of course, looks interesting because um, it says coming spring 2018. And in that image, we see the uh, SIVA type thing that was in the War Mind before. And I'm scared to think it's SIVA. I don't know why. I just don't want SIVA at the moment. I want, like, an actual War Mind Pacific, but. You know, if it was Siva, it'd be red, because Osiris is yellow, and Osiris was all, always yellow. Yellow, Sorry. But the most interesting part about it is you see a, an actual uh, guardian behind him, or behind the uh, big, how can I say, like, war mind containment yoke, you know? And of course, that's going to raise a lot of questions from now till spring. And originally when I looked at that, I thought, oh yeah, that just says autumn, god damn it. Like, I was like, nah, that's way too far. And of course, I'm looking back, and it's like, yep, spring. Because <laughs> if it was autumn, I would probably never be awake. I would probably just cryogenically freeze myself. Like, I can wait now for Osiris, just thinking about that. But waiting till autumn for an expansion is like a drag and a half. Oh, and the last thing I want to do talk about was the PlayStation trailer. Now, there's not really much difference. They kind of, like, um, they pretty much had a slightly different intro that they probably just crafted themselves. But what caught my attention is, and I don't <clears throat> exactly, like, I wasn't properly around for year one, so correct me if I'm wrong. But at the end of it, of course, this shows PS4 Pro and whatnot. But there's no small text that says, like, um, exclusive content for a year or something. Now, I'm going to look back just to make sure. Yeah, see, it doesn't say any of that, so, you know, I'm very hopeful that that's going to be the case from now on. Because I did hear it somewhere where it's possible that Bungie are no longer doing the PlayStation deal, even though it wouldn't make sense. But, you know, we, everyone would love Bungie at this point. You know, PC and Xbox, you know, you're kind of outnumbered at this point. So, yeah. Thank you, Guardians, if you've watched this video all the way. I hope you enjoyed this first proper debunked type video and theor uh, theoretical video. I hope to make more and I hope to make better ones, of course. And yeah, see you in the next expansion.